During these cold, frigid days, police in Minneapolis and St. Paul want people to be mindful of leaving their cars running unattended. Uh, twice this past weekend, someone stole a vehicle with a child inside. The first in North Minneapolis was a one-year-old boy. The second happened in the Highland Park neighborhood of St. Paul. A six-year-old boy was inside that car. They found both the vehicles, and thankfully, both of the boys were found safe as well. John Lauritsen looks at the high-risk areas and what you can do to keep your car and yourself safe. In Minneapolis, about 450 vehicles have been stolen so far this year. 75% of those were vehicles left running while unintended. People that are stealing the cars aren't taking a lot of time to look inside. They're getting in and going. It can happen when someone runs into a gas station to pay. But residential neighborhoods like East Phillips, Northrop and Bancroft, and Marcy Holmes have been hit hardest. On Saturday in North Minneapolis, a woman buckled her one-year-old son in her Jeep, then ran back in the house to get something she forgot. When she came back out, both the boy and vehicle were gone. They found her son and her Jeep two hours later in Brooklyn Center. Make sure that you're sitting in your vehicle, even with the doors locked, while it's warming up. It's a similar story here in St. Paul. Auto thefts were up nearly 15% last year. From January 2020 to January 2021, they were up 7%. Sergeant Mike Ernster of St. Paul Police says the upward trend is a crime of opportunity. We're out there looking, trying to prevent that, trying to educate people. Hey, your car is running. It could easily be taken. It does not take very long for somebody to see it, jump in, and take off. 49% of the cars stolen in St. Paul in January were left running and unattended. On Sunday evening, a woman left her six-year-old boy in the car while she ran into a Walgreens. When she came out, they were gone. Police found the boy standing outside the stolen vehicle a few blocks away. It's hard to imagine what that mother was feeling at that time, and it's, it's also uh, very hard to imagine what that child was feeling at that time, too. I'm sure there uh, many emotions are going through that child's mind. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Law enforcement reminds you these crimes are highly preventable. As uncomfortable as it may be, they recommend sitting inside your vehicle while it warms up.